right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called The Stratton Story, 1949. I'm giving it one out of five stars that hated this flick. I'm at Farragut Park. Uh, Robert's mom and back me. <laughs> Anyways, we went to Latin Mass. I think my son enjoyed it more than I did. The priest started going off on the, all this political stuff about the crazed Democrat governor saying that COVID rest severe COVID restrictions and Spending other people's money was necessary to save one human life. And that was a very Judeo-Christian ethic of his. Uh, what he forgot to mention is that the Decalogue prohibits stealing and coveting. In other words, the ends don't justify the means. That's, that's the problem with socialism in general. And he's trying to say that it has nothing to do with communism or capitalism when he says capitalism right off the bat I can tell that he's anti-free market and he said 9-11 wasn't about destruction of property it was about destruction of lives human life but then he goes off on abortion I liked his abortion speech he, he, he started talking in English when he was talking politics the rest of the mass was just you know, his back turned to us uh, chanting all this uh, Latin stuff and uh, swinging around the in the incense burner can a million times. Wow, that mass was an hour and a half. So I liked the ceremony. I liked how uh, we could kneel and stick our tongues out. They had a they had a little space for that for everyone to do it. And uh, very accommodating, but uh, we we get we didn't get to drink the blood, of course. I guess the health department hasn't uh, allowed it yet. So, <laughs> so there's that. We went behind uh, his mother's back, and we did went to church. We're the uh, super spreaders of COVID and monkeypox now. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. My son can uh, can go to a crowded park here. He can go to a crowded supermarket with his mother. But, uh, but he can't go to a crowded church. It's rules for thee, not for me, as my son would say. <laughs> so we just completely disobeyed my ex-wife. Went there anyway. I had to stop at Target and spend like 50 bucks on dress shoes and uh, and a button shirt. So there goes my uh, Friday cash tips. <laughs> and I've got about four pit stops. So i got to get gas and groceries and stuff. Supplements, groceries, and gas. <laughs> got to go to uh, Safeway to get paper towels and uh, strawberry sour patch kids. Then I'm going to go to the gas station, fill up my tank. And then, um, then I got to go lucky to stock up on uh, green apple soda. And uh, last but not least, I have to go to the communist grocery store on Folsom Street to get some uh, selenium pills. I forgot to mention selenium as part of my... Uh, Dr. Artis COVID cocktail. <laughs> All right, the Stratton story. Um, so Monty Stratton, played by uh, James Stewart. He's a, uh, he's a baseball player in Texas. He makes $3 a game so he can give it to his uh, mother. 
played by Agnes Moorhead, who was Tabitha's mother in uh, Bewitched. She's in a lot of movies. Agnes Moorhead. And then you got The Wizard of Oz again, Frank Morgan in this one. He plays a scout. Oh, here come my son and Robert. <laughs> Who's a Bolshevik? Some this one kid in Aaron's school. Oh, yeah? That's the communist dude? Yeah. It's really depressing to hear about it. Oh. Robert, can I keep your teeth? <laughs> They're really good. All right, so, um... God, you're totally a chocolate in it. What's all those tea bags for? Oh, so I, I was at this hotel and we decided to loot the, the random free tea. And then uh, Robert's mom was going to take it away and then Robert just gave it to me and I kept some. Except for that other bag. I thought you don't drink tea. I, I don't know. I found, I found he a doesn't. Ginger, I found a ginger flavor. Yeah. You tried ginger tea? No. That's I like ginger, ginger beer except it's ginger. Oh. It's, it's, it's ginger. Okay. Well, getting back to the Stratton story. So, uh, James Stewart is uh, pitching in... I don't know what league he's pitching in, but uh, he's making three bucks a day pitching in somewhere in Texas in some ballpark. He gets some money to Agnes Moorhead. His mother is uh, running a farm in Texas. And they, uh, Frank Morgan, the Wizard of Oz, the scout, tells... Uh, James Stewart, Monty uh, Stratton, to go to California, try out for uh, White Sox minor leagues. Okay, so he he tries out, he makes he makes the uh, Chicago White Sox team, but they say that he loses to the New York Yankees sixteen to nothing. I'm talking Lou Gehrig and Joe DiMaggio, Babe Ruth, all those people. Um. I think he did better in his in his debut in 1934, but anyways, it's historically inaccurate, this movie. So he, he gets sent back to the minor leagues because he gets bombed by the Bronx Bombers. And uh, he ends up getting married. He has a kid. And they recall him, and then he gets in a, a uh, shooting accident. A hunting rabbit or something with his dog. He shoots himself in the leg. Really stupid accident. And, uh, and they end up amputating his leg. He becomes a pay leg. But then uh, at the end of the movie, he pitches in minor league game, and you can pretty much guess the ending from there. I hate this play. I didn't like uh, the Lou Gehrig movie. Uh, Bill Dickey is in this one and the Lou Gehrig movie. And you get to see Joe DiMaggio with no sign of Babe Ruth, though. Uh, anyways. Uh, not a good flick. I'm not going to say highly recommended or check it out. But I will say skip it. And uh, that's the end of my review. I'll let Robert and my son stop whispering to each other now. Laters.